This is Demonocalypse. More Warframe. Recent patch notes include bug fixes, bug fixes, regionalization of translation fixes, and inclusion of two new weapons. The two new weapons are the Fragor Hammer and the Cindio Axe. Now, small thing in this game. All bladed weapons do three times the amount of damage to organic targets. All blunt weapons, which include the bow, the fragor, and the fur furax, I believe the furax, I'm not absolutely sure about that one, don't aren't affected by armor. So, you know those annoying grenier that seem to have way too much friggin' armor? Well, they don't anymore. They don't have any armor really anymore because the Fragor goes straight through them. <coughs> They're very large weapons. Very large two-handed weapons with a distinct inorganic feel to them. Very nice. Also, I have just gotten my Rhino. As you can see, he's big. In comparison to the Excalibur, they are approximately the same height. The for what Rhino just gets a lot more armor on him. Still very organic feel to it. And while the um, Excalibur had this insignia on only his left shoulder, the Rhino has it on both the left and right. I still don't know what that um, insignia is for. And I'm thinking about buying that color palette thing simply because I want black. Copper, yeah, that'll work. What does this highlight? Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't look very good. Purple, no. Blue, no. Uh, he here, I think. It's a very interesting feel I'm going for right now. Like, I really want black. That looks more purple than red to me for some reason. And the last um, two are white. I don't see what that's affecting, actually. What's that supposed to be? Tint color and the, the color of the energy orbs. Oh, I see. That's the reflection color, I think. I have no idea what that color's for. Yeah, I may have to buy that. Just cough up the 75, whatever it is. Yeah, 75. May have to cough that up if I can't find any good um, places. But, okay, let's take the Fragor. Um, as you can see, the Warframe I'm using right now is the Rhino. Only Tier 4, or Rank 4, rather. So, I don't want to take it against the people I normally go against. So I'm going to take it against the Grenier here, and just, well, not that one. I want to go to the extermination mission. It's more fun. Now, with the first ability of the Rhino in comparison to the Excalibur, the Excalibur's first ability has a range of approximately 20 meters and can kill ev pretty much anyone in that range. The Rhino's first ability has a range of approximately 3 meters and kills everyone within that range. So, yeah. It's not exactly even. And he got stuck in the elevator. Okay. Let's see if this works.
Okay, now, supposedly when you blow those, blow out the doors there, and um, there's people in there, it does damage to them. So I'm just going to open up the, I'm just going to do this thing over here, and I should have mostly dead Grenier on the other side of that door. Another good thing, it seems like, with the um, Rhino here, is that he has a fairly impressive sprint range. Or at least that's what it seems like to me. Another big thing about these massive two-handed weapons is that they go through multiple enemies. So if you're using the Syndio on an infested match map, basically it goes through everything. Swing! Swing! Better, better, better! And pretty much that's the big thing with the Fragor is that you can fling people across the room. It's not as entertaining as the Cyndio, where little bits of them go flying all over the place. But, you know, it's... I prefer the Cyndio. Die! Okay, I swing down. He shouldn't be flying forward. He should be mush in the floor. I still don't get what that thing is. Okay. I think that's just an audio glitch. Because it makes no sense having it make that much bloody noise. And sometimes, even when you swing with all your might, they just don't go flying. Where are you? So much crap. They keep on giving me shit. And not good fertilizer either. Now, the big thing about the Rhino, supposedly, is that it's supposed to be a, um, tank sort of character. It's supposed to be able to take a bit more damage and last a bit longer in a sustained firefight. I'm not seeing that very much. He moves at the same speed that all the other frames do. He seems to have a bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, endurance than the other characters and I'm not really getting that he's taking less damage from some of these hits uh. yeah the only thing remotely Rhino about this guy is maybe that horn on the front if anything I'd say this guy's a turtle it's just something about his back makes me say it just screams turtle to me yeah But uh, that's just me. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> like I said, there's plenty of open beta keys, beta keys, all over the place for this. And once in a while, you get critical damage, and they go flying off in weird directions. Oh, they finally caught me! One big complaint a lot of people have been having about these new weapons, though, is that they seem to shake the camera an awful lot. And most of the time just with your own impacts rather than... Oh man, I hate these guys. They have way too much shielding!
Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the special ability. Yay, four meters! And I barely hurt the guy in front of me. I mean, I've seen the vault special ability, which is just like a, uh, guess what, I zap you from across the room. Like, think of it like Thundershock from uh, Pokemon, is the best way I can put it. Um, now, this ability, um, is damned pathetic. This guy's stuck in the wall again. And the range on it is just terrible. I mean, I don't care if it's, like, super fast. I would just like it for him to run forward with a slight damage resistance and then gore the person you're targeting or when he first runs into someone st straight on. Because right now, the, it's, it's pathetic. There's absolutely no reason to use my first ability because the range is so terrible that I'm only going to be able to use it on the ranged people, on the close ranged people, and guess what? I can kill them with my gun before they ever get close to me. I mean, it's nice that they they kind of disappear in a haze of red, but it's, it's still rather pathetic. I mean, what does this guy do? I mean, it doesn't even kill him for frick's sake. I mean, I have to hit them head on and I I swear I hit that guy one that shield guy back there head on and guess what it didn't actually kill him I mean yeah it, it's nice in concept it it's supposed to act a lot like the Excalibur's ability uh, you run for bashing everyone in your path and then when you finally hit someone head on you're supposed to stop but with the range of this, I mean, look, look at this, like, um, let's say one of these deck plates here is about, uh, two meters in length. I made three, maybe four meters, maybe three and a half, three and a half meters. That's the range on this so-called ability. What I want, what, if I was this guy, would I be happy with that? No. I mean, I gotta see if there's a thread on this because... Like, the starting ability for the Rhino is just terrible. I mean, there's a 50-50 chance that it's going to kill him or not. There's a 50-50 chance. And then the range is just so bloody terrible that any if I just run into someone at even one meter and I gore him to a uh, bloody cloud, guess what? That's all the farther I'm going to go. The Excalibur's ability is just ten times better than this. 200 damage is pretty much going to guarantee killing everything except for the biggest people the enemy has and guess what I'm not gonna be able to do that not with this battle frame I mean it looks it's a lot better looking than the um, Excalibur is my opinion but the first starting ability is just so terrible that I don't want to use it like I, I primarily used my guns anyways when I was with the um, Excalibur but still Let's see what I got here. Um, mod slots, electricity damage, and yeah, you know, let's get uh, some electricity damage going, and let's upgrade that range. So, like my abilities with the Rhino are Rhino Charge, which is 3.5 meters of death, and if you run into someone at one meter, that's all the farther you're gonna go. Um, iron skin, which is supposed to harden my skin, reducing incoming damage. Uh, percentage points on that, people. Give me some actual numbers. Radio blast. Um, what I've kind of seen also is that the rhino is kind of a close range specialist, which would explain the rhino charge, but it's still such near small range that the only people I'd really be able to use it against is the infested, and that's about it. Radio blast, um, I punch the ground, and there's an explosion. Rhino stomp, uh, I stomp the ground. It's basically the um, shockwave MOA attack. I'm not sure what the range is, but yeah. It's, it's supposed, everything sounds good. I mean, the iron skin is a nice um, ability that I believe could be put to use if you're like the tanking member of the group and you want to stand out there and get shot at. Um, the Rhino Charge, that's the only thing I don't, can't really agree with. It's just such short range that it doesn't make any sense. 
I mean, like, people disappearing in a cloud of mist, but for some reason, I'm just not seeing the damage numbers. I mean, I could be doing 500 damage to these people or more. If it does that much damage, I can see it being of use, but if it's just killing people or slightly maiming them, it's got to be a guaranteed kill, especially if that's the only person in front of me. All right, the next um, mission I'm going to do is with the Cyndio here. The Cyndio, like most bladed weapons in this game, is very effective against the Infested. I'll be going against them because, as we know, the Grenier, um have a lot of armor.